Power Mechanics Simulator 2018. Anyway, for this episode, we're going to work on this RX-7 here, and then after that, since that's actually a simple job, get stuck into the Salem Spectre. And I wonder if we'll actually get to that one at the end. Uh, well, we'll see actually. Because this is going to be a major Runeberg right then. This one just has some basic brake problems. Actually, I can't even be bothered sending it to the sending it to the test path for this. We just quicker just to um, have a look at them and go around and have a look at everything. Shagged, but um, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So that's a good one. That's fine. Get stuck into this one, and this is pretty much easier than. Okay, so it must be the back brakes then. Is it? Must be, or it's the ABS. If this one has it. And there we have our first contender. Alright, no, oh, those look awful. Just hit one of those. I guess it's one on the other side that makes up the rest of the stuffed bits. So yeah, this is just going to be a quick job, like all the two minutes. But it will look good on the thumbnail. Should we use that one? Or maybe the good wannabe over there. So pads and brake disc. And why can't I get into the shop from there? Those and those. So an all on. A nice simple job to get started with. And again I'm too be quick for it. That's that car all done already. I'd say it actually needs quite a bit more. That one there, and let's see, no, maybe, yeah, actually, I think it will. Nah, this one's more interesting. It'll make a more interesting episode. I always seem to pick the utter disasters. They certainly pay more, so it's worth it in the end. Alright. Doesn't start. There's a bunch of problems wrong with it. Once it runs, I probably should take it down the test path, but the truth is, I'll probably find most of them just fiddling with the thing. I mean, I can already see that's done in. That's had it. That's actually in decent shape. I suppose I better check the belts as well. That's got to come off. Now, what testers do I have? Yeah, oh, I really need to get that some time. That'll probably be the next thing on the agenda. So the fuel pressure test is quite handy. I can see all of that stuffed. WD. So I got a bunch of dead coils. And let's see if there's anything wrong with the innards. Just my luck, it'd be the crankshaft stuffed. Nope, but I still got to pull half the engine apart. Brilliant! Yeah, that's good. I'll 
Okay, I'll start with the engine and gearbox, since the gearbox has to come off anyway. Good thing this needs an oil filter as well. Yeah, that can go out. Place that back. Oh, the oil pans amongst the uh, one of the other casualties. <laughs> okay. There, now I know which side I have to pull off. I'll just check all these as well, because you never know if there's something else under here that's stuffed. And if I don't, I'll probably figure that out near the end of the job when I'm trying to find that one last thing. Right, so all of that's healthy, so I only have to worry about that one thing. And then we shall... Don't right, take this off. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna deal with this first before I do anything else. Because otherwise I will forget. There's the one thing that always catches me out, well at least until I got the fuel pressure tester. So I always forget that there's something back there that's considered part of the engine. And all of this is stuffed as well. those. I don't really need to do those because I already know they're done for. Hmm, I didn't know you could take the wheels off from behind. Though it does make it handier to get at that. That's going to come out because it's like awful. So is this tie rod. And the side's just as bad. And another bad wheel bearing. Oh, the hub's had it too. The side's even worse. Oh well, the rest of it seems to be alright. get it just right you can actually see the wheel bearing. It's a little hard to find. Might be easy just to pull the... Yeah that's had it too. I suppose I better check the other side. Okay, that side's fine, so I can leave that side alone. Alright, that's stuffed wheel bearing number three. Doesn't really 
better. I've got to pull all of them off because I've got to get at the head. Peeling a uh, onion, getting into most engines. Especially the modern ones have so many ancillary things added to them. Yeah, that looks alright, so I can leave that alone for now. Power steering pump, crank pulley, and oh, and all this other stuff has to come off as well. Which is a bit annoying, but that's the only way to get at the timing belts. So I can start buying things. I'll just grab this first, get this one out of the way, and then I might go see if I can fix some of this stuff, although I doubt it. You have to get to a pretty high level before. Yeah, see, I mean, I can only repair those few things there. It's not even really worth even attempting until you hit about the 90% range. I think I'll just stick this one back together in a rather piecemeal fashion. Just sort of go into the shop and grab the bits as I need to. And put on all the bits that don't need to be bolted in one big group. Helps you spell them right too. And that's that not taken care of. Everything for the engine. 
when it comes to all the underbody stuff and we'll be done. So, can put that back. Actually, I think I'll leave that open, otherwise, I'll probably forget that I haven't got any oil in it. something because well it'll probably leak all the important stuff out and um you end up having to buy a new engine so it's cheap insurance right i better go pull these apart because they are both pretty stuffed looking It's not good enough. Now let's see, inventory, those are sorted. Sweeper B, front wheel hub. One inner tie rod, two outer tie rods. Okay, rack, end links, and three hub bearings. And I think that's everything. It's all that not sorted. Okay, there's one or two that's probably those are probably um, rubber bushings. So I'm probably gonna have to put this down the test path anyway. I mean, there's one there. Of course, the other one's probably secreted away somewhere where I can't find it. members apart to find that one last piece. See, that's a bit of a major. Got 
that wheel on, so that's that one done altogether. So to come back down the side. Get these little bits in. side but seems to have quite a long range on it. I just need to put the throttle back on. I'll deal with that when I put the oil on it. And I better hope I don't forget because it's one of the other things I tend to do a lot of job appears done so I tried to send the car off and then realised I've left no oil in it. That would be rather embarrassing in real life because uh, um, unlike this game it real life doesn't tell you if you've forgotten something. Right so there's one more thing. And I bet it's going to be something that I've been looking at, or I've looked at multiple times and have yeah, sort of overlooked. Because I am completely oblivious to so many things. to be quite a hot day today really. Which is rather unpleasant because I can't run the fan or anything. Otherwise all you'd hear is the fan drone all over the mic. Right, I guess that's gonna have to go to the test part then. Because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. And why the hell do I have to get a notification right now? Well, I bet I was wondering if I actually should record today at all. Last five minutes before I started recording, I had to feel multiple phone calls. So I'm like thinking, what is this a telephone exchange? It's like everybody's ringing me at once. right it is a rubber bushing. Of course it doesn't tell me where the rubber bushing is, it just tells me that it is one. down the back might have been one up the front. See this is one of those annoying ones, it's so well hidden that even with the thing telling me it's busted, um, let's see where is it. Give it an outline, I can see it now. Yeah, see, it's one of the secret hidden ones. No wonder I couldn't find it. And let's see, well, that's done. That's all done. So is that. And all oh, that's dealt with. Good! And I made 22k out of this. And we've gone up a level. So we'll deal with that.
And let's see now, what will I take? That's what I'm really after, this one here. I have to go a few more levels, so what I will do is upgrade my repair. So I can actually repair things. Yeah. Put that on the lifter. And in the next episode, we'll start off with this. They call it Tempest Magnum. Basically, a uh, Plymouth Roadrunner or something. I can't remember which one of the super. Oh no, Superbird, the one with the giant rear wing. Oh, that or it's a Dodge Daytona. Can't really tell because they're not cars at all that interested in. Or at least I don't have anything handy. Anyway, this will be all for today, so I'll see you in the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator.